morning. Thank you for Good joining morning. Carrie Rios and myself, Amber Tripp, on our very first inaugural podcast series for Clark College Community and Continuing Education. So we wanted to celebrate and interrogate our amazing instructors and let the community know what we offer here, what you instructors have going on. So let me have you introduce yourself, your your ed better cracks. Ed, better cracks. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just with your name and hey, by the way, I heard this a little funny anecdote before we got on here about your name. So why don't you give us that little anecdote about your name and the classes that you teach here at Clark College? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, so my genetics is uh, one half uh, Italian and one half uh, French Basque. And the name uh, is Basque, uh, better corrects. Uh, just pronounced exactly the way the spelling and in Basque, it means seller of spices. At the time that my son, who's now a, a growing up adult, heard that, uh, he said it probably means somebody in the family was a drug dealer. And uh, <laughs> so I've, I've dealt with, uh, you know, mispronunciation of my name ever since I was a little kid all the way to the present time. So oh, I'm known... Spices, right? So, yeah, seller of spices, yeah. <laughs> so uh, Italian... Um, uh, in heart and soul. Um, and there's a whole story about that I can share uh, as well. Awesome. Well, I can't wait to hear that, but let's, let's get your classes up here. I hear okay. that you teach something about Italy. Is that correct? Excuse me. Repeat that. I hear you hear. I hear you teach something about Italy. Ah, yes. Yeah. So the, the, <laughs> my background is actually anatomy, physiology and wildlife ecology. Oh, wow. uh, <laughs> my heart is in the minors that I took uh, in, in college and then my own genetic background. Uh, so yes, my my love is uh, is is Italy. My love is is introducing Italy uh, to the world uh, as I discovered it. Um, awesome to be no not not to get off track, but just to uh, to point out that I had to, discover my genetic heritage uh, it wasn't something that was passed uh, to me i wasn't raised uh, in a, an italian family except for my mother and the contacts uh, there so it was a area of discovery and that really is the the focal point of of my classes it's it's the discovery of an absolutely incredible uh, uh, experience uh, both in language and in culture and in history and, and and a variety of other things wow that that's awesome i love the story behind that um so travel in italy and the adriatic italian uh the Adri 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 uh, italy best kept city best kept secret good lord it's morning isn't it yes uh, it is. <laughs> those are the two classes that you teach travel in italy and the Adriatic Italy best kept secret. So, how mm -hmm. did you go about discovering your heritage, and and what led you to inspire these classes in particular? Okay, I, I taught for many years at City College of San Francisco, and I was an administrator there as well as an instructor in, in all my uh, teaching experiences. Uh, but I, I was teaching uh, anatomy, physiology, and uh, uh, organic uh, chemistry and, and things of that sort. Um, the, the college discovered that I had an Italian background and oh, no. they encouraged me <laughs> yes exactly they encouraged me to uh, consider a possibility of something and that was the offering of a uh what was it it was about a two and a half month course uh in uh, florence italy as part of a uh, study abroad program um uh, i took the opportunity. Actually, I was offered that, to be honest with you, uh, because I also had a sabbatical opportunity. And so they said, I'll tell you what, uh, you go to Italy, you teach this class, um, we'll pay you, we'll give you an apartment, um, and uh, we'll be happy and you'll be happy. And we were hope. you happy? Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, I had been to Italy, <laughs> I had been to Italy uh, once or twice before that. Uh, traveling with with my family 
Uh, but this was an opportunity to be there for an extended period of time and, and to be in Florence and to be living a culture. And uh, so the, the Basque part of me slowly disappeared uh, and then rapidly disappeared and I became more and more uh, Italian, including uh, the discovery of my family. Uh, my Italian family. My mother um, was born actually in the United States. Um, uh, her mother uh, had fled Italy uh, with her husband and two other children uh, in the early 1900s after World War I. Uh, and so my mother had no experience with Italy as well. So there was a whole Italian family that never made it to the United States. Uh, and I became the second uh, member of that family to return, as my family says in Italy, to return home. Wow, uh, I, had a, I had a cousin who was a, a occupied troops during World War uh, II uh, in Italy um, and was part of the, uh, the military uh, events that took place outside of Milano uh, at the close of World War II. I was the second person in 19, uh, probably, it was about 1968, uh, to return uh, to the hometown and to the family that was there and, wow. to, and to discover that they were waiting for us. With open uh, arms, right? To come home. Well, sure, with open arms. With open arms. But I will say, I think they left a little something out in your education of Italy. And I'm just gonna throw this out there. I don't see big hand gestures. Where are the big Italian uh, hand well, gestures? <laughs> they're down here, but they're, they're, no, that's, that's always that. Pro there, there are two problems that people will point out to me in my class. <laughs> Number one, uh, you, you 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 ramble sometimes. You go into all kinds of these subjects, and then your hands are moving, and I don't know if I should be watching your lips or watching your hands. <laughs> and then uh, you have uh, uh, all the passion, uh, fire. Uh, uh, yeah. of an Italian. But you know what? I went into I went into my grandmother's house in Italy and there was my baby picture, my baptismal picture, my wedding picture. Uh, there was a whole uh, set of remembrances that they had of me and had never met me. Uh, and I tell my class, uh, and so many of my students are discovering this themselves, even at the age in, in our mature learning, uh, that there is a whole world of family that is waiting there somewhere for you. And when my aunt looked at me and said, welcome home, um, well, then the other part of the Italian comes out to me and I just started to bawl like a baby because I, I, I felt that. And so what I've been doing uh, ever since that, uh, that experience uh, with City College of San Francisco putting me in, in Florence for, for several months uh, is discovery of, uh, of the homeland and uh, the, my family. Uh, and my courses reflect that because what I do is take them uh, to, where I, uh, to the areas that I have discovered um, and the things that I discovered about it. Uh, my sister went uh, with me one year and she said the same thing. I, I had no idea that we had such a culturally rich relatives um, and a, a culture that we were proud could were, were becoming proud of for the first time. It was a, it was a, a self discovery as well, and uh, it was a, a, an absolutely incredible experience. And I try to do that in my class. In fact, one of the comments that one of my students wrote in a recent evaluation is I, when I asked, what do you like most about my class? I like the stories that you tell me about your family and about your experiences and your discoveries. So sure. let, let's going to the Adriatic course uh, for a moment. What we have, what I've been doing to the class in the last academic year is taking into the places that I admitted that I've not taken you to because I'm not sure I should share them with you. Uh, you know, you get too many people going to a national park and then you lose the beauty of the national park for sure. yourself, right? And so do I really want to tell them about this and this and this and this? So I, 
I took them on an adventure beginning uh, the last, this academic year at, uh, in uh, uh, Western Italy uh, and moved into the area where my family, uh, where my great grandfather and grandfather uh, left what is now Switzerland and came into Northern Italy. Um, and we moved the, the, the class, we moved through all of Northern Italy and the Adriatic course is going down the other side. Okay. And I held it out uh, as the last thing I was going to really reveal about uh, Italy, because it's the area I'm discovering and the area that I'm finding absolutely fantastic. And I don't want uh, uh, tours <laughs> and things. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. So what is... <laughs> So let me ask you this, this class or either of these classes, Travel in Italy or the Adriatic, Italy's best kept secret, um, who are these designed for? Like if you wanted to say, hey, you would be the perfect student for my class, like sign up now, who would that be? Who would that student be? Anybody who is open for adventure. Um, The course is better than Rick's, I shouldn't say that, but better than <laughs> oh no please <laughs> no say i won't say that uh, uh in that it, it's a personal experience that i'm having that i'm sharing and as being fascinated by everything italian uh including uh the art the architecture uh the history uh the food uh the drink um and the environment those are the things that i share but the things that are most fascinating to me are the are the little things that are the most best kept secrets uh in in italy um and these are the places that i take them to uh that you don't find uh you know in in a normal uh, uh tour presentation by the way i did do a uh, travel abroad for Clark College, and we um, it was a cooking uh, program uh, in Tuscany. We stayed there for about uh, three weeks. Uh, we went uh, t- to Rome uh, on side trips, and then we traveled around that area, and they did cooking as well. I've also done it uh, for uh, City College for uh, over. Uh, uh, 20 or 30 summers uh, all together, or uh, actually uh, up to uh, a full uh, four month uh, sabbatical type wow. uh, thing for students that, and, and then we would live there. And we go out and we explore. And that's wow. what I'm sharing with the students. You want to learn something about Michelangelo? Uh, I, then, I would, yeah. Let's then let's go, to, let's go to Carrara and let's go Carrara. into the, let's go into the quarry where the marble came from and uh, be there with the workers uh okay. see what it's like to get a block of marble and we'll start the story there and then that's throughout hard work that's hard work it, it and is it too. is and we'll stop at it the little eat. restaurant that they eat at down uh, the the, uh, uh, the road here and you'll find that there is a pig fat that is stored in marble uh that is considered a delicacy and is in new york restaurants uh that the locals oh, eat and it's aged in marble and that's where we begin that story wow uh, okay. there as the workers and then we'll go to the uffizi and we'll go to the vatican and look at the the finished works uh, and 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 see that let's see the experience right from the very beginning and those are the little secret types of things that, ah, that, that, gotcha. that are I, was, there. I was gonna ask if you could share a little secret with us today but there you go well there's one ah. Fat in the marble, who knew? Now we have to eat and drink as well. <laughs> and be merry. Uh, and and be merry, yes. Uh, so uh, I introduce uh, um, uh, food, um, uh, drink, uh, uh, of course, uh, culture in terms of celebration. Uh, a lot of times in the class, there's a discussion about, uh, uh, you know, from a religious point of view, what is the... Um, uh, you know, why this in the church, why this being depicted, why this particular saint is in this particular picture. Uh, uh, and 
that's uh, indeed as well as telling the the story sure. of what so Italy you, is. You all wrap about. it all up and intertwine it together for the whole it, cultural experience. Exactly, exactly. exactly. So it's not it's not Amazing. a tour through a museum, and it's not a lecture. Right. Uh, you know, ninety nine point nine percent of what I'm doing in in the classes uh, is PowerPoint. Uh, so they are there with me visually. Now, okay. one of the exciting things going on uh, with the Adriatic uh, course is there is a former uh, security guard um, of Clark College, uh, Benedetto Vesperini. Vesperini, uh, I love these Italian words. Who um, is a, became a close friend when I first came up from San Francisco. I wanted to keep my Italian going with dialogue. And I thought, hey, the best thing for me to do since I taught at community colleges is, is to enroll in an Italian class at Clark College. And I'll pretend like I know no Italian. Uh, and so I did, you know, I met the first night and, you know, and I stumbled through that. I can fake that too. And um, one day- All you have to do is get your hand gestures going, right? Huh? <laughs> All you have to do is get your hand gestures going. Exactly. No, but I can't. I sat on my hands. And, and, <laughs> and I thought I had it made. And I thought Benedetto accepted me as a uh, introductory student in, in Italian. And one day he came in with a, said, I got a bad ear infection and a sore throat. And so I'm not going to be able to say much, but Ed's going to take over the class. <laughs> you, you figured it out. And you I, can't lie. <laughs> and that was the beginning of a very close friendship. Um, I uh, worked with uh, Tracy in uh, Mature Learning. Uh, and so I saw Benedetto on a regular basis. He left uh, uh, Clark College. He's living in Ascoli which is on the uh, coast of the Adriatic, uh, running a and b uh, and he has um, close to 15 other people are my team. And okay. I have Benedetto, let's see, it's uh, middle of the night now, so he's not doing it now, out there <laughs> uh, during the day photographing uh, the story of Ascoli Picciano, which is on the Adriatic. Um, and those are the pictures my class will be seeing. So he's taking them to the places that are most important to him, the the secrets that he has had in his lifetime. And that's what we are, wow. we're, we're sharing. And that's what happens in all my classes. Sure. Well, that's an amazing story, Ed. I, lo I, would, I would love to continue this for hours and hours because I would love to pick your brain about Italy. It's a, one of two places that I haven't been to in Europe. And uh, uh, well, technically I have because I went across the, Switzer the Alps from Switzerland into Italy, so technically, but mm -hmm. I really haven't immersed myself in the culture, and so I'm fascinated by it. I would totally sign up for the class. You got me. Um, so we just need some more people in your class to discover the Adriatic and the rest of Italy with you. I think. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, cool. you know, to uh, to uh, <laughs> discover all kinds of things because this is not the last class that's in my mind. You know, in terms oh, no. of and, and there's, and there's so a cliffhanger. This one is like. <laughs> It, it, this this one is finished in terms of its visual, uh, and now uh, it, it's opening up what other things are there. The Uffizi is going to open up uh, shortly, and they have said we have enough exhibits of Italian women artists uh, to show exhibits for a hundred years uh, uh, in That's our basements. <laughs> and so there are uh, plans uh, that are out there for new uh, uh uh, adventures if you want in 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 italy and uh i i want our classes to be on uh, on the front line i love uh, it if i if i go to italy i'm picking your brain brain ed i'm going to come to your class and pick your brain well Before you won't be even the, go you won't be the first and you won't be the last for sure <laughs> awesome for, yeah. so i gotta wrap things up because we are looking on the at the clock and I've been so wrapped up in your stories. I uh, and I only up. got us to, you know, oh. one city. <laughs> I Right. Well, there are many other cities there. Uh, so I'm excited for people to take your class. Um, if you had one last thing, it has to be a quick thing to say to get people to really discover and, and envelop themselves in the wonders of Italy and the Adriatic coast, uh, what would that be? Uh, come with me to paradise. 
um, right. and and uh, enjoy it. Uh, Come with me, and you. And you know, and, and forget about uh, forget about the detail stuff. What we're here to, is to uh, see, to hear, to to taste, to smell, uh, to experience the totality of what is Italy. Awesome. That is that's a great way to wrap it up. And, and one last thing, oh. <laughs> and help you to discover the same thing in your family as Perfect. well, because well, my, it's there. Yep. It tr truly is, and it doesn't matter where you're from, whether it's Italy or Germany or exactly. the United States of America. <laughs> awesome. Well, Ed, I really thank you for your time today. Uh, for those of you who uh, get to listen to this or watch this, you can sign up for Ed's classes on um, online at cce.clark.edu. Uh, make sure you click on classes, and your classes are under travel. Weird. Uh, so it's travel in Italy, and then the other class is the Adriatic, um, Italy's best Secrets of the, uh, the Adriatic Coast, yeah. Yeah, something about the, just look for Adriatic, it's in there. Um, you could also call 360-992-2939, and someone will help you register if you prefer to do it that way. Um, you will find the most up-to-date information on the website, so just check that out. You can figure out where and when and the cost and all that good stuff on the website, and pick up any of other, any other classes that ed decides to teach in the future so we look forward to seeing you thank you again ed uh, we really could i could time. i just say one last thing in, yeah, in, in italian we never say goodbye because ciao. goodbye means it's the end we don't even say ciao we oh. say en bocca a lupo en bocca en a lupo, a lupo. Uh, means basically we'll see you again and what it means in translation is stay out of the mouths of wolves until we meet again okay Okay, and Boko Alupo. In Boko Alupo. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs>